Hello friends, welcome to MS Subject Webcast. In this video, we will see how to create and link group policy object to an OU. In order for group policy settings to be applied, group policy objects must be created and linked to domains, sites, or OUs in Active Directory. The Group Policy Management Console is a native tool to create and manage GPOs. The Group Policy Management Console is present by default on domain controllers or can be installed as a part of the remote server administration tools on memory servers or client devices. To create GPO, log on to domain controllers running on Windows Server 2016 using an account with the privilege to create and manage group policy object. And for this demonstration, I already log in as a domain administrator on this Windows Server 2016 DC. Let's open Group Policy Management Console first. Let's click on Start button. Then click on Windows Administrator Tools and from here select Group Policy Management Console. Once you open Group Policy Management Console, expand your domain and let's click on Group Policy Objects. In a new Active Directory domain, there are two pre-existing GPOs, the default domain policy and default domain controllers policy. As implied by their names, the default domain policy is linked to the domain and the default domain controllers policy is linked to the domain controllers OU. If we expand domain controllers OU, you can see default domain controller policy is linked with domain controllers OU. Therefore, policy settings in the default domain policy affect all users and computer accounts in the domain, while those in the default domain controllers policy affect only the content of the domain controllers OU, which is typically contains the computer accounts of domain controllers in the domain. It is of course possible to modify the pre-existing GPOs but group policy based practice advise against it doing so. It is preferable to create a new GPO instead of modifying pre-existing GPOs. So let's see the steps to create and link group policy object. First of all, I'm going to click on group policy objects then right click on it and select new. The new GPO dialog box will appear in the text box under name enter your preferred name for the group policy object. I'm going to give a name log taskbar GPO and then let's click on OK. As you can see we have one new GPO named log taskbar. To configure the GPO select the newly created GPO in our case log taskbar GPO. Right click on it and select edit. The group policy management editor console opens where you can manage a group policy settings for your newly created GPO. Now here you can see we have a computer configuration as well as user configuration. Let's expand policies under user configuration, expand administrative templates and then click on start menu and taskbar. The associated group policy settings for start menu and taskbar will appear in the right hand side. Now here this is the group policy settings which we are looking for. Lock the taskbar. Let's double click on it. Now by default, the policy setting is set as a not configured. Let's click on enable button. And here you can see a brief overview information about the group policy settings. These settings affects the taskbar which is used to switch between running applications. If you enable these settings, it prevents the users from moving or resizing the taskbar. While the taskbar is locked, Auto hide and other taskbar options are still available in the taskbar properties. Let's click on apply and OK. And here you can see this policy is now currently enabled. Let's click on close to close this group policy management editor console. If the GPO was not linked to a domain, site or OU when it was created, it must be linked to one of these before its policy settings will take effect. So let's link newly created GPO to our OU name test OU1. But first of all, I'm going to open Active Directory Users and Computer Snapping. Let's click on Start button again. Let's click on Windows Administrator Tools and let's open Active Directory Users and Computer Snappings. In Active Directory Users and Computer Snapping, expand domain and this is the my OU. Under test OU1, I have a total three users: test user one, test user two, and test user three. If we link newly created GPO to our test OU1, that policy settings will apply on test user 1, test user 2 and test user 3 users. 
So let's go back to group policy management console and let's link existing group policy object to our OU test OU1. First you have to select the OU then right click on it and select link an existing GPO. And here you can see all the group policy objects available for your domain mylab.local. Let's select newly created GPO, log taskbar GPO and let's click on OK. Now that GPO has been successfully linked to our OU test OU1. Once you link group policy object to OU domain or site, group policy changes you have made will take effect the next time group policy is refreshed. The default refresh rate is once every 90 minutes plus a random offset from 0 to 30 minutes. To manually refresh group policy, you can use gpupdate slash force command. So let's test the result on our client computer. Earlier login as a test user 1 on our Windows 10 client computer. This is your Windows 10 client computer and let's log in as a test user 1. Once you log into Windows 10 client computer, let's right click on start bar and as you can see currently lock the taskbar options is selected. Let's unselect the options and as you can see user can resize the taskbar. Let's again lock the taskbar. So we want user cannot lock and unlock the taskbar. So let's manually update the group policy by running command GP updates less force. Let's click on start button, right click on it and select command prompt. At the command prompt, I'm going to type command GP updates slash force and then hit enter key. And as you can see, computer base and user base policy update has completed successfully. Now let's again check the status of lock the taskbar options. Let's right click on taskbar and select oh that is lock the taskbar options is now gray out now user is not able to resize the taskbar now let's go back to our act directory domain controller there's another method to create and link group policy object in group policy management console you can just select the ou where you want to create and attach group policy object right click on that ou and select create a GP on this domain and I'll link it here. You can specify the name, for example, let me give a name GPO1 and then let's click on OK. Now here you can see we can directly create an attach group policy object to particular container and that GPO will also list it under group policy object. Now suppose if you attach two group policy object to particular container the link order will decide the priority now as you can see the link order first for lock the taskbar gpo and link order 2 for gpo 1 that means lock the taskbar gpo has higher priority over gpo 1 so that's the end of this video on how to create and link group policy object to an ou in windows server 2016 active directory domain thank you all for watching this video